Hey guys, how's it going? Andrew here, Enough Said Cards on Monday afternoon. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I had the day off from work today and decided to make a video and show you the cards that I'm going to be submitting to SGC, um, hopefully sending them out later today. Uh, I've been putting this order together for a while, just kind of thinking about what I wanted to send in. And um, I have some cards here also that belong to my sons, uh, Jack and Charlie, and one card that belongs to my friend Mike Armstrong. Uh, his channel is called Caught Looking with Mike Armstrong. Uh, so I'm going to go through card by card and give you my predictions uh, for the grades. And then, um, you know, when they return, we can see how I do. Um, not going to give predictions on the modern cards, uh, just on the vintage stuff. Uh, but before I um, get to those, I'm just going to show you really quickly some things that I had considered sending in but decided not to based upon the current cost of grading. I have a 49 Bowman uh, Bobby Door and a uh, Dom DiMaggio. These are both pretty nice cards. 69 Tops Willie Mays. Another nice one, just didn't think it would grade high enough to make it worth it sending in. Got this uh, in a bargain bin at uh, Chantilly Show sometime in the last year. 38 Gowdy Bobby Door. This one has some creases in it that probably aren't going to... Uh, show on video, but just didn't think that one would grade high enough. Same with this one, 48 Leaf Bobby Door. And then um, a bunch of T206 and T207 cards, all commons, lower grade. Uh, just didn't think any of these would really be worth sending in. So those will stay in the top loaders. Uh, now we will start with the um, modern cards. I'm not going to give you grade predictions on these. These three cards belong to my son, Jack. Uh, this is a Clayton Kershaw Topps rookie. He bought this at the Philly show a couple weeks ago. This is a uh, Panini Prism Red, White, and Blue Joe Burrow rookie. Nice card. And a Xander Bogarts. This is a, let's see, 2014 uh, Future Stars short print variation. So those belong to Jack. Uh, then these cards belong to my son, Charlie. This is a Walker Bueller Topps Chrome Rookie Auto. This is, let's see, 2018. And I think this was a redemption. I guess that's why it has the sticker. Shohei Otani Topps Chrome Refractor Rookie. All right, this is a 2019 Bowman's Best Fernando Tatis uh, Refractor. Pretty nice looking card. Another Bowman's Best uh, Tatis Rookie um, 2019. This one, I think this is called an Atomic Refractor. Someone correct me if that's wrong. Another nice card there. And another Tatis. This one is numbered out of 50. Bowman Chrome Ready for the Show Variation, also 2019. This one doesn't have a Rookie logo on it. But a nice card there. Okay, now uh, for the vintage stuff. And again, I'm going to uh, give you my prediction on the grades. We'll start with Mike Armstrong's card. This is a 1909 uh, W.M. Dick postcard. Uh, this came, um, it's like an accordion style postcard. So there were other players it was connected with. And um, this one is pretty cool because it actually has a postmark on the back, uh, 1909. Um, really awesome image of Honus Wagner. Really like this one. Um, I think this is going to grade authentic hand cut uh, because it was separated from um, the other cards. But really awesome. I think it's going to look fantastic in an SGC slab. Next up, this is Jack's Sanella Babe Ruth card. 
And we got this one at the Philly show a couple weeks ago also. A uh, really nice looking card. It does have a crease that you're not going to be able to see. Kind of blends in with the dirt there and even kind of hard to see in person. Uh, but because of that crease, I think it's going to grade. My prediction is a two and a half. Uh, and I'm, when I'm considering what I think they're going to get, I'm, I'm pretty conservative, uh, hopefully. Um, so two and a half on that one. Next up, 1981 Tops, Larry Bird. I have a couple of these. Uh, for a while, I was buying these when I would see nice looking ones like in a bargain bin. And um, I probably paid like five bucks for this. And these have gone up quite a bit in value. Uh, this one's pretty nice. It's a little off center. I didn't see any creases or anything. A little bit of edge wear. So I'm going to uh, predict a seven and a half for this one. Next up, 86 Fleer Bird. A little bit of edge wear on this one also and off center. I'm going to predict a eight for this one. Okay, 1955 Tops Ted Williams. This is a really nice looking card, but it does have some little divots up there on the top border. Um, so I think that's really gonna obviously uh, affect the grade. Uh, I'm gonna predict a two for this one based upon that damage. But I think this card will look nice slabbed. Okay, next up a 1958 Ted Williams. This one was a gift from my friend Pete Makita, and a great looking card. Um, a little bit off center and some corner wear, but very nice otherwise. Um, I'm gonna predict a two and a half for this one. All right, next up, a T206 Eddie Seacott. Out of the pile of T206s that I showed you before. This was the only one that I decided to send in. Um, Seacott was a really good pit pitcher. Uh, of course, he's most famous for being one of the uh, Black Sox players who was kicked out of baseball. Piedmont 150. It does have some like scuffing on the bottom there. And uh, pretty well-rounded corners. Uh, I'm going to predict a two and a half for this one. And two more cards. Here we have a 1969-1970 John Havlicek rookie. This one was a gift from my brother Matt. Very nice card. Off center a little bit. Um, and some you know minor corner wear. I'm going to predict a five and a half for this one. I think that'll look nice in SGC slab. And finally, another Eddie Seacott card. I've had this one for years, uh, along with the T206. And uh, this one also has um, John Thony on it. I didn't see any creases on this. It does have some corner wear. And I'm going to predict a three for this one. All right, that's it. Um, looking forward to getting these back. I think it takes about a month and a half, two months now for SGC. Uh, so relatively speaking, not too bad, but uh, looking forward to getting these back and we'll go over the grades and see how I did with my predictions. Uh, this weekend coming up, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the Chantilly Show here in Virginia. Uh, pretty big show and I'm looking forward to going. Um, going to get there at least one of the days. I usually go all three, but uh, have some other stuff going on. So um, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for uh, tuning in and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.